Okay, so we're up here, uh, we're in a Rio Grande Valley. This is one of the coolest plants in South Texas. This is a plant known as Beretta, Helietta parvifolia, and it's in a citrus family, Rutaceae. And you can see, you know, we get a little bit of fall color down here in the valley. It's 80 degrees today. It was 95 degrees Fahrenheit yesterday. What is that in Celsius? You subtract 30 and then divide by 2. It's roughly you know, 32 degrees Celsius. So anyway, you can see you got these, these conglomerate bluffs and the uh, whole wealth of cool plants here that can tolerate growing on this heat we got this jatropha dioica this leather stem growing out of a uh, pure conglomerate rock right here it's a member of the poinsettia family but this plant is remarkable as hell the, the leaves smell incredible and uh, they've got this wonderful phytochemistry they're in the citrus family rutaceae so they've got you know, they smell like rue they kind of smell citrusy but what i'm after for is uh these seeds right here you can see they're just these little winged Samaras like you can see right there, but this plant is not grown enough in cultivation I would love to see this more common in cultivation. It can take full Sun I mean, this is the hottest climate in the United States by far Phoenix gets individually hotter days But we have more cumulative heat it never really cools off here And so I want to grow this thing those that the uh, yellow color is a form of drought stress If they're if they're growing in the shade like they are in Mexico a few miles to the south in the Sierra Madre uh, they'll turn green, but out here exposed on this nutrient poor uh, calcareous uh, limestone rock uh, And out in full Sun in the heat they get pretty drought stressed, but it's a, it, it's a beautiful color So anyway, we're gonna grow the hell out of this and the flowers are just these little tiny white things um, And this is a host plant for a number of cool insects number of cool butterflies it needs to be grown more It's not grown enough, and it's little known it only occurs in the borderlands of South Texas and Mexico So we're gonna correct we're gonna collect more Beretta that's right. There we go. Could That's I? nice. We just found. Look, we just found a piece of petrified Which was a wood. A long time ago. A very long time ago. We're talking Eocene. We're talking, you know, 45 million this, years. This. And this, this is a beaut. This was brought here by an ancestral Rio Grande River, you know, millions of years ago, probably in the last five, six million years. Very obviously tumbled, tumbled in a uh, old river. You see this? Look, somebody chipped this. Somebody broke this piece of shirt and then was working on it right there. Who knows how long, it might have been recent actually. Cause there's some old cans and stuff too. Should we keep going?